Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm pretty sure the wind is coming from every direction today. <laughs> 22 miles an hour with gusts in the low 30s. It's a sailboat out there. And temperature is currently 55 degrees. It's supposed to go up to about 63, 64. in the background there and that looks like they're working on another another rig hello pelican they got another oil rig over in there they're working on I don't feel like we're facing northwest but apparently we are because they said the wind's coming out of the northwest we're in Ingleside by the way Cove Park, Cove Harbor, doesn't appear to be a whole lot going on today for, uh, for, te for Texas, this is pretty cold, 55 degrees is pretty cold <laughs> and windy, there's a pelican under the pier there, pelican's in the shade, I guess he didn't want to get a, get a sunburn. Nice blue skies, not too bad. It's not a bad little park. They have uh, restrooms here, public boat ramps, it looks like, two of them. We've been here before. I see some older cars over there. We might want to, uh, to make a loop and I found a mosquito in my truck that must have been around from yesterday. Let's go over here, let's make a little loop. These cars are on. Oh, he's got a little, little collection going on over here. Pretty cool. Very nice. some under construction pretty cool it's always nice to see something and he's got some rusty stuff Ooh. wanted to read those historical markers but the uh, groundskeeper dudes are kind of parked there and I didn't want to get in their way or Particularly, I didn't want to listen to riding lawnmower tractors. <laughs> this area was pretty busy uh, the last time we were here because they were cleaning up an oil spill. That big uh, rig that came out of here a few weeks ago that we filmed. That came out of uh, Kiwit. It was in Kiwit for a while. Well, the walkway is gone, but the building is still standing. You, you just can't get there from here. Bars on their windows are still intact. This is actually out there right part of the Corpus Christi ship channel that would uh, take you to the Harbor Bridge and right on the other side of these little barrier islands are Corpus Christi Bay. Little bait shop. Coming up, there's, there's the Francine fishing boat. Anne's Bait House. 
Hello, Ann. I like to come over here every few months and see what's going on. I've been wanting to get over here the last few weeks, but our travels have taken us elsewhere. Actually, way in the distance, you can see the construction for the New Harbor Bridge, where we just were a few days ago, if you can make that out. That's, uh, that's how massive that is. It took me a while to figure out what that was going to be. I had no idea. <laughs> And then down the end here, they got some working boats. Looks like mostly fishing boats. Nice color to the water today. And the sunshine is hitting it just right. I drove back to the uh, Ingleside version of Flint Hills, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot to see. Posted no trespassing keep out. I wonder if we're allowed here or if we're not uh, allowed out on the pier. Hmm. You know, but we got a friendly wave. Tugboats are waiting out there, so maybe there's a big ship coming through. I love this area. It's where the fishermen come to fish. Let's see if I can get you a shot of the tugboat out there. There's the tugboat. Well, oh, guys, there you go. The maintenance guys have left, so I thought I'd read this historical marker. Ingleside. The Ingleside community began in the 1850s when George C. Hatch purchased land on both sides of the bayou. He later acquired 3,800 acres of land and sold land to other settlers who built homes on the bayou and Ingleside Cove. John Vineyard is credited with naming Ingleside for his Scottish ancestral home. In 1854, George and Marcellus Turner settled in the area, and in 1857, Marcellus obtained a grant for the area's first post office. The Turners established the Star Cattle Company and organized several cattle drives to northern markets. A general store was operated by Young's Coleman. George Hash introduced grape culture to the area, and his son, John G. Hatch, developed a prosperous vineyard in the 1880s. The Massey and Mirkovich families were prominent in the fishing industry established here. The railway, the railway bypassed Ingleside in the late 1880s. Residents set up a new town site on the railroad in 1893 and in the early 1890s, a large hotel was built on the cove. In later years, the economic base of the community was assisted by the establishment of an oil refinery, industrial development, and a U.S. Navy home fort. The population of Ingleside grew steadily after the 1970s. It's a nice little piece of history. Hey guys, Ingleside, Texas, thanks for riding along today. Thanks for watching. Have you heard about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs>